Okay, this is going to be a tour of my custom classic drum set. I got it in blue fade, but as you can see, it looks more like teal fade. But it, I still love the finish. I've got several compliments on the finish, and it looks great. On the front, I've got a Remo coated diplomat and a felt strip for muffling. The felt strip was the only thing I had to had to do for muffling because it's an 18 by 14 bass drum, so it's very small. And on the batter side, I've got a Remo Power Stroke 3 coated, and the bass drum is a phenomenal sounding little drum. You get a real good good oomph from it. And of course there's a articulate difference if you bury the beater or if you just let it bounce off like I do. Sounds really good. The floor tom is a 14 by 14 floor tom. And I have a coated ambassador on the top and a clear ambassador on the bottom. It's a 12 by 8 inch tom. And I've got a coated ambassador on the top and a clear ambassador on the bottom. And this is my snare. It's not a custom classic snare. It's a pearl free floater with a maple shell and a uh, Renaissance RE head on the top and a clear ambassador snare side on the bottom. So those are the drums. I really love this drum set. It's small, compact, and sounds really good. Um, symbols, I've got 14 inch K hats, I think they're standard K, they're not custom. I have a Istanbul Mehmet Legend ride, 21 inch, sounds really good for jazz. I've got a Peisty Signature Series 8 inch splash. Heisty Signature Series Dark Full Ride, 21 inches, and uh, a custom Zildjian A Custom Crash, 18 inch. And I've also got an LP Cowbell, which sounds awesome. Uh, hardware, I've got a, I guess you could say conglomerate of different hardware. I've got a DW9000 bass drum pedal. I love them, they sound awesome. I've got a Yamaha hi-hat stand with the rotating T-leg. And I've got a Premier stand with a Gibraltar add-on for my splash. I've got a Pearl stand, double braced. And I've also got a Yamaha single braced cymbal stand. Now, as far as the hardware goes on the Custom Classic drum set, it's kind of an off-brand, so not many people have heard of it before, and it kind of shows in the hardware, because the hardware, you know, it's not, not as sturdy, you know, I, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit afraid to tighten things as much as they go, because I had an incident with the hi-hat stand that they gave me. It just had something to do with the main screws here. Um, this came loose and underneath it was just a bolt that hadn't been glued properly so now I fixed it with some super glue but that's on the hi-hat. You know I haven't had any problems with the bass drum or the rims mount which is really nice. You know you don't you don't get features like this for a drum set like this that was brand new. I'm um, sorry, I had you looking at the wall there. Um, but as you can see down here, you know it's really nice. All the hardware on the drums have gaskets in between them and the shell, so you don't have as much touching the shell. Um, which kind of brings me to the shell. These are all 100% birch drums, aside from my snare, which is maple. 100% birch shells sound really good and they're really punchy 
and I'm just in love with this drum set. It looks great, sounds great, and I really want to take it on gigs, because it's going to sound awesome. And now I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the uh, camera down and play it for a bit, and we'll see we'll see uh, how far I get before my video camera dies. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. So I'm going to play some uh, shuffle, probably a shuffle or something like that. Just to give you a taste on how they feel and sound. Mind my sucky playing. <laughs> but I should probably point out that this the set does come with a snare drum. It's a 14 by 5 And it's got the same finish, and it sounds pretty good. And that's going to be it for my video. Um, hopefully I can post some drum covers soon, as soon as I recharge my camera. But, yeah, custom classic drums. Really nice. For the price. I should probably add that... This whole drum set costs four seventy nine with a hardware pack off of eBay or from Sigler Music Center. And they're really, really nice. But they're custom classic, and you should look for them on eBay or SiglerMusic.com. Alright, thank you.